Hey, welcome in to another Mystery Fifth Hour. We thank you for joining us, and we thank McCurry Van and Car Rental for sponsoring the Mystery Fifth Hour. If you're looking for a passenger van, truck, SUV, McCurry makes it easy. They get you in and out fast. Athens, Muscle Shoals, Huntsville, Colvin on 2nd Avenue Northwest. Reserve your rental today at 256-559-1003 or mccurryrentals.com. McCurryRentals.com. He's Jim Dunaway. He's Lance Taylor. He's Rockstar. I'm Ryan Brown. Thank you for joining us on YouTube. Give us a thumbs up there. Make sure you share this wherever you watch it and like and subscribe on YouTube. Set your alerts so you always know when we're live and follow us on social media at Next Round Live. I think Rockstar is guiding our conversation today here, Rocky. How's everybody been doing? Fantastic. How are you? All right, good. Good to meet everybody. Yes. Uh, let's Thank do the first topic. Um, what is the greatest film trilogy. I'm not saying that one and two were good and three sucked. It's got to be the full package. To you, what is the greatest film trilogy? Back to the Future for me. Third sucked. Third? <laughs> that was the cowboy one? Mm -hmm. I couldn't even, I couldn't get through the second. One, two may be better off. than Hell, one. Remind me of the, the cowboy one. I didn't matter. Two better than one? Two may be better. Like, uh, like one's that. a I One's thought, a classic. Yeah, I thought two was. Number two is good. where he goes, goes to the future. To the future. And he's made all the money off the gambling. Oh, yeah. I did like that one. Get that yeah. back. It was fantastic. Grace so is it, that's the one where he ends up at the back of Biff's car. Yeah, Grace Sports Almanac. Yeah. I, couldn't, I couldn't finish it. You couldn't finish number two? Yeah. yeah. Three's awful. Yeah, three is bad. I well, enjoyed the Wild West. Yeah. Uh, so I wouldn't. I, I love Back to the Future one and two. Just three. If it's on TV, I won't watch it. So I'm saying, like, if uh, if any of these three trilogies, you would stop and watch. Like, I, I know Brown's a big fan of Godfather three. <laughs> Godfather three. Godfather three was, Godfather a money three grab. was was not awful. It's a money grab. It was not a money grab. It was it was still nominated for best picture. Oh, um, well, that doesn't mean anything. That I means mean, a lot. <laughs> that means, it means somebody other than me likes it. That means it. a lot of people like yeah. it. So I would still go with The Godfather because one and two were just absolutely fantastic. Um, you know, it's still hard to decide which one of those is better. And then three to me was like a solid C. So if you put all three together, I just uh, the the other thing that I would say, and this is because they were consistent, were Bad Boys with uh, Will Smith and Martin Lawrence. Yeah. And Little Man Loves It, and watching one, two, and I thought the third was probably the best of the three. Right. But they were very consistent, but I still would go Godfather because of what one and two were. All right, so let's, let's, let's talk about Godfather 3 for a moment, right? Because I've been very vocal about my displeasure in that movie. Um, a couple things that I dislike about that movie. Oh, when I said, what did I say? I said something that set off Alexa over there. What was it? Alexa, turn off. Alexa, shut up. Um, the thing about Godfather 3 is two things. Number one, uh, Francis Ford Coppola wrote his daughter into it. And you, you can't. That was a mistake. She's a good director now, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, very good writer and director. Yeah. But Sophia Coppola was yeah, not, Sophia a Coppola, not a good actress. actress. And she made out with her cousin, Andy Garcia, which is kind of weird to me, but that's okay. But what cousins were they? I think they were first cousins. I think they were first cousins, yeah. right? That's a Andy Garcia was the son of... Uh, I got lost. Um, and the other thing that I didn't like about it, and spoiler alert here, is that the whole helicopter fly flying up and just tearing apart that one boardroom? That's a ridiculous scene. you got to give me that's a ridiculous scene. I mean, Andy Garcia on the horseback as a cop was kind of ridiculous. I mean, there were, there were there a, a lot of ridiculous, ridiculous scenes. But again... Um, it wasn't awful. I mean, I, I give it a C. Okay, the so others are A pluses, though. What I would suggest, I think Lunsford agrees with me, and I don't think any of you three have seen maybe one of these. But are you watching the World Cup? I am. He is. The world semifinal. The world, uh, Lord, of the, Lord of the Rings, Fellowship of the um, Rings, Two Towers, and Return of the King. Okay, I can't remember if it was that I or saw the third one. Yeah, you saw the third one. I never saw the third one. Oh, saw the oh you saw the first two. Did you like them? I liked them. They're good As for such what a, they are. But the way that Peter Jackson, now the Hobbit was garbage and like that with the original now, is that a part of the lord of the rings the it's Hobbit? like the prequel of they, yeah, it was that, was, first that was a cash grab because they had they did cgi and everything but the way he did lord of the rings the original trilogy was incredible but did that jrr tolkien cat write both of them yeah, yeah i think the, the hobbit came first books. the hobbit came first but he yeah. stretched the hobbit into three different movies where it could have yeah. been just one movie where he added characters and so it wasn't true that true to the story I, I, i'll never forget this as a kid they did the animated versions of this and it. it was brought exclusively by xerox and I love the Lord of the Rings and the Hobbit and all that stuff, but going back and watching Peter Jackson's first Lord of the Rings, I was like, I can't do this. And well, you know how, and it's weird because I love Game of Thrones, but I think right. the Lord of the Rings thing was just. I not thought good. it was so stupid when the Fellowship of the Ring came out. I had no interest. I was cleaning theaters at the time, 
And uh, when it was at an art theater, I remember I had to go in, you had to sign this paper that you check the theater, and you had to stay in there for like a couple minutes to make sure everything was functioning. And I remember I went to, it was one certain part, and I was like, this is such a stupid movie, but I saw the introduction of the ring and everything, and I, I remember the next day, because I watched like five minutes of, starting at 20, in, 20 minutes in, and I came back the next day by myself to watch it, because like that was, that five minutes sucked me in. I thought it was the stupidest concept ever. I remember as a kid liking Lord of the Rings, but that's what sold me, was that five minutes I was in there. That, I came back the next day to watch it. Full. Yeah, so I can't. I was in a hotel room in San Antonio. No. Corpus Christi. Springfield, Massachusetts. Oh. Yeah, how about that. Corpus you didn't Christi. see that coming, did you? Corpus Christi was close though. And either that or Harry Potter was on. I confused the two. That one I can't do. Well, that's seven movies. But I remember Eight watching movies. it and thinking, hey, you know what? The special effects of this yeah. movie are really, really good. It's really, it's really, really so good. So I bet it was Lord of the Rings. Yeah, it's Lord of the Rings. And then uh, Lunsford also suggested the uh, Christopher Nolan Batman trilogy. Dark, Which one's Heath Ledger? Batman Begins, Dark Knight, and Dark Knight Rises. Dark, Dark Knight is Heath Ledger. Dark Knight, uh, yes, is Heath Ledger. And Christian Bell. Christian yeah. Bell's in all of them. Dark yeah. Knight Rises is uh, Tom, Tom Hardy. Hardy. Right? Yeah. Oh, uh, that's the one where Tom Hardy's at Heinz Field. And yeah, that's, that's, that's it, it's pretty people good. People of Gotham have abandoned you. Yeah. And that guy, that guy runs a touchdown down the sidelines. It's Heinz Ward. Heinz Ward in the field's blowing up yeah. behind him. He scores that. Yeah. He's excited until he turns around. Yeah, I like Lethal Weapon one and two, and then three got a little much. Three's not bad because it's got Joe Pesci in it again. Um, they're doing it. They did a Leo four. Gets. You know, whatever you want, Leo Gets. As you can tell by our deer, we're recording this near Christmas. Um, have you ever seen how many Home Alones they did? I think they're like six Home Alones. Yeah, I don't know if I saw the second one. Who was in the second one? Me either. I saw it's the, the same first cast one. as the second one. Uh, Macaulay Culkin. Oh, yeah, I did Daniel see it. Stern. He's in New York. Yeah, yeah. 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 Donald Trump's in it. Yep. Yeah, he is. You're yeah. absolutely right. It's before yeah. he's president. Yeah. Yeah, it was <laughs> <laughs> very true. 1992, yeah. I believe. Yeah. I liked the first three Indiana Jones. Uh, the fourth one was awful. The fourth one was awful. Very bad. And, and really, Temple of Doom's not great. I like Temple of Doom. I don't like Kate Capshaw being in it. Yeah, though. when you go back and watch it, you're like, she was miscast, and they go way over the top on short rounds. Yeah, I mean, a little racist. Yeah, I mean, at the time, it didn't really bother me that much, but you go back and watch it now, you kind of cringe at short round. I, you know, I went back and watched Raiders, and I, and I saw it probably in the theater like four or five Such times a as a kid. Film. It's yeah. so long. But it I is. went back and watched it, and it just it wasn't as good. <laughs> really? As I didn't think so. Burt Reynolds was, oh, was it? Tom Selleck was originally going to be Indy, but he had to do either do this or Magnum P.I. He decided to do Magnum P.I. Oof. So well, that's a win for us, though, because I think Harrison Ford was much better. Yeah, it was. Yeah. You ready for my next topic? Sure. Let me reset it, though, sure. Rockstar. It is McCurry Van and Car Rental bringing you the mystery fifth hour. From trucks to SUVs, passenger vans, they make it easy to rent. They get you in and out fast. Locations in Athens, Muscle Shoals, Huntsville, and Coleman on 2nd Avenue Northwest. You can reserve your rental today, 256-559-1003 or mccurryrentals.com. That's mccurryrentals.com. Let's say no matter how affluent, aff, affluent you affluent. get, affluent you get, to come on, influenza. You can do this. Or how much money you ever have, what is something that you would never, ever buy? You can see yourself. I've never Helicopter. Heard. Would you own a jet, but not a helicopter? Uh, uh, maybe a jet, but really I would never own a helicopter because I've seen so many people who are rich. Not only do they buy a helicopter, they want to fly the helicopter themselves. And yeah. Sometimes that apart. doesn't end so well. But you have so the helicopter well for, for shorter trips as opposed to getting yeah. the jet. I don't, I don't want to own a helicopter. Away. I don't really want to own a jet either. I'd rather, no. you know, let some other company own them and I just, you know, lease them out. A lot of maintenance. So if you, yeah. if you owned a helicopter... Would you, so no, you got a lot not, of money. Though, that's the question. I know, I, I know, but if you did, I'm saying if you yeah. did own a helicopter, would you, I'll ask you, since Jim's not gonna own one, would you, you'd have a lot of money, would you live like way out from here and just chop her in every day? Cause there's a helipad just right down the street here. Mm. God, that would suck every day. Then how are you gonna drive all yeah. the cars you have? Well, no, and, and how are you gonna go out to dinner? I mean, you can't, it's gonna be tough to get a helipad Parachute. for dinner. They, they, they throw that ladder down. <laughs> Yeah, no, I probably wouldn't. You wouldn't? No, but I'll tell you one thing. I'm never going to have, like, um, <laughs> the ladder. You just if, climbed out If I had restaurant. unlimited money, I could see me spending one hundred and fifty or $200,000 on a car. I but I'm never going to take it to that next level. Because here's the thing. Like, you know, my kids love McLarens. And right. I'm like, this is so ridiculous. First of all, it's a million-dollar car. Yeah. The other thing is... How bad do you stand out in Birmingham, Alabama, driving a McLaren? Oh, pretty big, yeah. yeah. And would you be nervous about that on 280? Yeah, I mean, think about every parallel bump. parking and that. But if every bump. Bump, you know, a Ferrari, Lamborghini, any of that, I just, I've got no interest. That's my answer. I know I don't think I'd ever go 
uh, super duper. I wouldn't go expensive. Like I don't. I don't think I'd go over a hundred if I had that much. Yeah. Money. So you say one hundred fifty, two hundred thousand. What comes in a car like that? That is it? Just the logo and just the. No, I mean, do you just think about how, like, I love the Alfa Romeo Stelvios that we're in right now. They drive great, but, you know. That's like a third of the price you just gave me, though. I know, but I'm just order. saying, so that's Italian, but if I got me a uh, Maserati Levante, which is their SUV. Right. I mean, I could spend $125,000 on it, but, I mean, the leather is true Italian leather. I mean, the features are incredible. Um, you hate driving. It's so weird that you'd get a car. No, but I you probably could talk somebody into driving me in my no. Levante. That's true. Yeah, yeah that kind of money. Levante? <laughs> Lance's Levante would remain parked up here half the time. <laughs> I, and that's just, I've never been a big car guy, so I don't know like when people talk about spending Wait, 200 grand on your car. Huh? You've named your car. Oh, yeah. yeah okay, that doesn't you, make me a big car let's guy. Let's say if it's not that expensive. My kid did it. Like, not the super expensive, like the Ferraris and stuff like that. Would you be a guy that had more than if you had three or four cars? Like, today seems like a. Uh, no, you got to park them somewhere. Thunderbird Day. Yeah. Yeah. You have the house for it now. You got a nine car garage. Then you got to get all that insurance. I would have two cars here, and I would have one at the beach. Two here in Birmingham, yeah. not like at our building. Yeah. What would the second car be? Um, like an old beat up, like something like a Jeep? Uh, Samurai? I probably would have an SUV. I'd love to have a Samurai. I looked online to try to find, because Donald and I used to have a you Samurai. You Jack? You can't find it. No, <laughs> I would just like to have it as a, you know, a, a fun, like... It, that would You're, be a great beach yeah. car. Absolutely. That's what I, the first time I ever saw them were, uh, were beach, beaches where I saw them, young girls driving around beaches. And I was like, that's, that's the car for me, man. Yeah. I'll look good in that. Emergency brake car. Yeah. <laughs> well, no, it wasn't the emergency brake. It was you had a four wheel drive all the way from Lexington to PC. <laughs> no, four wheel drive all the way down. That was not a uh, smart move by if you, if you Never got over 70. <laughs> if you, if you, <laughs> How long did it take you? Uh, that was usually a four and a half hour, five hour drive, so it took me about six and a half hours. <laughs> if you touch the rotors after that trip, do you think your hand would have disintegrated? Yeah, it was. It was a spin. Yeah. The kind you had to get out. You couldn't change it inside. You had to spin them in. Oh, my God. I mean, mine is no, a... They were burned out somewhere in Birmingham. Yeah. Mm. It was a smooth ride after that. They were done. <laughs> <laughs> mine is a, uh, is a private jet. I just feel like you've gone... Like, a private plane is one thing. I know people that have owned private planes... But a private jet, I mean, you're, you've gone next level once you buy a private jet. Like, you're you're in a different stratosphere, whether you want to be or not. Whether you're like, oh, I'm just a regular old Joe. I just got a lot of money. You've put yourself in a different stratosphere. If you own a private jet. Yeah, but if you're a billionaire. I'm talking like a top-end jet. I think you've got to be a billionaire in order to, to do that. But if I was a billionaire, I'd have one. Would you, have a, would you get an exotic animal? Oh. Well, I mean, no, my point with the private jet, though, you say why not, is because, I mean, you can... The, the whole, I mean, it has become so easy to rent a private jet now. Like, for you're, you're probably right. It just depends yeah. on how much you were traveling. Yeah. And you got to have the, at that point, if you own pilot. the jet, you got to have the crew. That's right. Yeah. You got a pilot, you got to have somebody cook for you and all those things. Whereas if you go net jets or whatever. It's amazing how many people have personal pilots, though. Oh, I know. I've got, a, I've got a buddy that used to be one. I'd love corporate. to have a chef. That's what I would really love to have. We're doing yeah, what we don't want to have. I'd love to have a chef. And I don't even want to pick what we're going to eat. Like, I'd call Gator up right now. Gator, I'll be home in 20. Uh, have me lunch ready, and I'll cook today. Have down. me lunch ready. He'd have me lunch ready. He decides what I'm eating today. I got your bologna like cheese that. sandwich yeah. today, Jim. Yeah, it's been a hard day. Thank lunch. you, Gator. Yeah. Thank you. What about you there, Rocky? I was, the cars thing was the biggest cars? thing for me. Like, I don't think, I, I have never, I am satisfied in the car I have now. I would love, like, a better navigation system and stuff like that, but I don't yeah. need the leather seats. I don't need any of that. Just don't, I just don't want the smell. Well, like, this summer, I bought a car and I already dislike it. I'm already ready to get rid of it. Nigel? Yeah, Nigel. Wow. So I'm going to trade it in on something else. But I uh, I just, cars just don't, I mean, I want something that's nice and dependable and it's got certain features, but it doesn't have to be like high end for me. Like a car is a car. And I don't know anything about the parts of them either. Like when people talk about, oh, this car has got all this, this and this, you know, does it crank? Does it go fast as I want it to? <laughs> has it got Wi-Fi? Yeah, has it got Wi-Fi? You know, is it, you know, is it, has it got just the basic stuff. Yeah. I mean, I don't need all that. All right, that is the mystery fifth hour. McCurry Van and Car Rental brings you the mystery fifth hour. It's right there. Where is it, Rockstar? Show it to him. Let the deer show. I believe he's right there. He's right there, the McCurry Van and Car Rental. What? Why does the deer talk like that? You're always talking. Shut your trap. <laughs> You're I so... think I'm pregnant. Go ahead. You're so wow. strange. Uh, McCurry Van and Car Rental, the trucks, SUVs, passenger vans, they make it easy to rent. They get you in and out fast. Locations in Athens, Muscle Shoals, Huntsville, Coleman on 2nd Avenue Northwest. Call and reserve your rental today, 256-559-1003 or McCurryRentals.com. That is McCurryRentals.com.
www.thebigfootballshow.com. Thank you for joining us. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Make sure you have uh, subscribed and set your alerts on YouTube. Follow us on social media at Next Round Live. Thank you for enjoying the Mystery Fifth Hour.